On News 5 tonight, one complaint is a bona fide bummer for some neighbors on the northeast side of Colorado Springs. A 12 foot tall skeleton is no longer standing after a woman complained to an apartment complex she doesn't even live in. News 5's Natalie Chuck is joining us live near North Academy and Carefree Circle with reaction. Natalie. Diane, this bush behind me has seen brighter days. Kids used to stop here in awe of the 12 foot skeleton that was up since mid September, but now it is bone dry and some fans of Teddy the skeleton are begging for his return. On a busy street in Colorado Springs, cars pass by all kinds of decorations. But sometimes some of them are bone chilling. He is 12 feet tall and I think she I'm assuming she bought him at Halloween time. Teddy Bonesavelt, the giant skeleton, used to live on this bush. In roughly four months, his Facebook page has attracted nearly 500 followers. It's kind of an obsession. Followers like Savannah Fletcher. We have three kids and they love it. We like go out of our way to drive by her house. But the managers at the townhome say a woman who does not live on the property complained about seeing the skeleton whenever she drove by and threatened to contact the homeowners association the townhomes belong to. It's nice because it brings the community together, I think, and I think it sucks that because one person had a complaint about something that's so like minute, now nobody gets to enjoy it. After months of decorating, holiday after holiday, Teddy's owner posted on Facebook saying Teddy has been taken down but tells us the removal is temporary while she checks with the HOA about rules. How can you be mad about a 12 foot skeleton? That's adorable. For now, Fletcher is crossing her fingers that the bones will be back up soon. I hope there's a giant chocolate box for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> and the managers here at the townhome say they don't have any problem with the decorations. We'll let you know if anything changes. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Natalie Chuck, News 5. Natalie, thanks. Well, there are new rules in Colorado about high potency tea.